I, I think it's an unusual film. I think it'll look different to most films. I mean, Fatima's stance was far beyond just family values. She was, she was standing up for society. You know, she was living the dream that had been sold to her by her father and, she, and the, her belief in everything that he believed in. And so was Iman Ali. You know, and they they joined together as husband and wife, but basically they were husband and wife, you know, doing the bidding of Muhammad, and Muhammad was the strength and the the reason for everything, you know, and they, and I think that's an interesting part of it, and I think that is interesting that that Muhammad's legacy through Lady Fatima and through Iman Ali has travelled the you know through history and affects our little guy. It's sad because my character Lace he um, because he lost both parents while um, Bibi the grandma um, is telling the story um, the lady Fatima is the same because the mum is called Fatima and while uh, it reminds the character of the mum because they have the same name and a few times he has to do loads of crying. Um, it's the first time Leith hears the story and it'll be the first time that um, most non-Muslims will hear the story and they'll be um, astounded because most of it is, um, is in the history books but most people don't know anything about it. In a, in a way, Lady, Fa Lady Fatima is, um, is almost like a Gandhi figure. Um, she's completely um, transfixed with the idea of, um, of doing absolutely the right thing. no longer here to lead us. Evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. I think the, the historical story is very dark indeed. Um, and the only thing that you can really draw from it is the principles and morals and ethos of Muhammad, Lady Fatima and, and Iman Ali in the face of, you know, obvious adversity. I had uh, uh, an idea in my mind that the, um, the ancient times were, you know, in the terrain that they were, it was in the desert type thing. So I wanted a, a, a warm feel. And, uh, and John and I had many discussions and then he, uh, he told me about an artist that uh, we used um, for inspiration. And it was very much like on, on the route that I was thinking and he and I spoke about it at length. And that's what we ended up going, uh, the route that we did on the Worms. And then we both collaborated on the modern day and we both had the same idea that, that uh, the modern day stuff in Mosul and, uh, and around there would, would be much harder, colder, desaturated so that we had the complete contrast between the two periods of hi in history. Cut! Cut! Action! I think it will be an iconic film. I think it's, um, it's a remarkable film. I think what we've created is um, completely incredible. Um, I couldn't believe what um, uh, Kez was able to do. Um, with the sets um, and when I first came out to Georgia I was looking at various sets sort of wondering how on earth we could create this and fortunately we um, brought together a very 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 talented team um, and John was able to corral them and push them into creating um, this this amazing film I mean um, Medina was a, a, be a, a place of beauty it was um, absolutely amazing. Yes, of course it was a nightmare to, to film this going wrong and that going wrong, but that, that always happens. 
the wind and the rain, and it's not supposed to rain in the desert. Um, but, you know, it's, um, we survived everything. And then um, taking um, parts of uh, um, the town and recreating Baghdad, um, it was just wonderful work that um, the, uh, uh, the production team achieved, the art, te the art, the set dressing team, the art department, everybody. It was remarkable. And so we did things like um, Mecca, where we had the Kaaba. That was, um, that's all the surround around it. They built a little bit there, but that's all going to be CG. So, I mean, it, that's what I mean. There's a huge amount of CG. Because it was a, a, not a, a high budget film, there's a huge amount of visual effects. We had a great terrain and a wonderful set but that had to be embellished so much. And the different thing, different parts of it, you know, the journey to, to get to Medina from Mecca was done, had to be done in sections and we had to have camels and, you know, and the horses we had for the battle scene. Each take that we had to do for each shot uh, had to be uh, reviewed and confirmed by his eminence who's who is the religious authority and who is uh, giving the approval for this film for all the religious elements that are involved. And it was just an amazing collaboration. I think the collaboration, intense though it was between us and him, was and will be the making of this film. I couldn't have done it without that input. It, it, it would have been impossible. Enlightened Kingdom were adamant that everything should focus on the ancient story. They were completely um, transfixed with um, ensuring that we did everything accurately according to their historical records. Um, and that's what we attempted to do. We had, uh, we had the live stream set up between London and uh, to the shooting place and we had his eminence and the team of other consultants that were with him who were reviewing all the shooting of each scene that we had to do uh, to make sure that it's within the religious guidelines, religious restrictions, and making sure that each shot that we did had the approval to flow on normally and to flow on normally and make us achieve the amazing results now. In addition to that, we worked uh, very closely with our visual effects supervisors during the shoot and uh, we managed actually to develop something special so that the, uh, the holy personalities were not represented by any individual. So with the latest technology we were able to achieve this through a unique synthesis of uh, actors, uh, in-camera effects and lighting and all of this of course thanks to the fast evolving visual effects industry. God will judge all of you. I think the thing about her is that she's strong in the face of adversity. Mm. And so she stands up for what she believes in. She stands up for herself as a female. She stands up for everything that she has lived and believed in against impossible odds. Um, and I think that's important and I think her message really is to sort of keep fighting, keep on keep on being strong in the face of everything. She is the lady of heaven. Her legacy lives on.